Hello everyone, this is Pampi Murandanti again and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will talk about the graph of a power function. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I have here an example. The table shows some values for the function f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. And take note that this function is an example of a power function or we also call it an exponential function. Okay, now why? Because the variable here is a power or an exponent that's why we call it an exponential or a power function now our task here is to fill in the missing values and draw its graph and also we are going to answer some of the following questions at which point the graph cuts the y-axis and use your graph to solve the equation 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. Okay? To start with, so to find out the missing values, just simply substitute the values of x. Uh, we have here negative 1, which is y is 1 half. And then for 1, which is 2. For 2, which is 4. And for 3, which is 8. So that's how you do that. Just only substitute to solve for the missing values. Okay, now our next task is to draw the graph of the function f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Since we now have the values, okay, just we're just going to plot the following points here. So we have negative 1.5, 1, 0, 1, 2, 4, 3, 8, and 4, 16. After that, we're going to connect the dots smoothly. So this is now the graph of the power function f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. And take note of this. Notice that as x approaches to positive infinity, the function grows without bound, meaning it goes up, it goes on and on. However, if x approaches to negative infinity, look at the arrow here, the function values get closer and closer to zero. And therefore, it is asymptotic to x-axis. Asymptotic meaning very closely to x-axis, but it is not approaching to x-axis. Or axis, not touching okay? the x-axis. So here's the next question, which is, at which point the graph cuts the y-axis? So just simply look at the graph here and take a look at this, where it cuts the y-axis. So here is the point that is 0 and 1. And that is the point in the graph that cuts the y-axis okay next question is use your graph to solve the equation 2 to the power of x is equal to 4 so how do we do this just simply look at the graph and check out 4 in the y-axis okay 4 and then check out correspondingly in the value of x what is there the value and that is equal to 2 so therefore that x there is equal to 2 and how to double check our work just simply solve algebraically through exponential functions. So there you go. The value of x is equal to 2. Okay? And that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Bye!